This tutorial reviews transfers and payments. You'll learn how to create transfers in and out of accounts on eBranch. Transfers can be set up to occur between shares on the same account or between different credit union accounts. To create a transfer, tap the menu button to access the navigation bar, select Transfers and Payments, then choose Make a Transfer. To create a transfer, start by choosing the account that the money is being transferred from. All accounts that money can be transferred from will be displayed. Some share accounts are limited to no more than six remote withdrawals per month. When you have reached the limit of withdrawals for a specific share account, you will no longer be able to transfer funds out of the account on eBranch. After the withdrawal limit has been reached, transfers from the account must be completed in a Patriot branch, at an ATM machine, or at an interactive teller machine. Tap the account to select it. Next, specify where the money will be transferred to. If you are transferring to another credit union account that you own, select the account from the list. If you want to have a check withdrawn from the account, select Check Withdrawal. A check will be made payable to you and will be mailed to the primary account address. The funds will be withdrawn from your account immediately. Select Another Member if you are transferring to another credit union member. If you are creating a transfer to another member, you will need to have their account number and the last name on their account. To transfer money to another member, choose the recipient of a previous transfer or choose to specify the member's account details and enter the account information for the transfer. If you plan to transfer to this member again in the future, you can save their information so that it is available for the next transfer. To save the transfer information, tap Save Member to Members List. The member name and account number will now be saved in the drop-down box for future transfers. When you transfer money to another member, the money will be deposited to the first available checking account on the other member's account. If there is not a checking account, the money will be deposited to the next available share savings account. If you need to transfer money to a different share, please contact us for assistance. There are three options available to send a transfer. An immediate one-time transfer, a recurring transfer, and a one-time transfer scheduled for a future date. If you are making a one-time transfer that is to occur immediately, select Send Now. Choose Scheduled Transfer to create a transfer that will occur at a future date. Enter the date that the transfer is to occur, and then save the changes. You can also set up a recurring transfer, a transfer that will occur on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, semi-monthly, or yearly basis. Enter the date of the first transfer, and specify the frequency with which you'd like the transfer to occur. To create a bi-weekly transfer, select Weekly from the drop-down box, then indicate that the transfer will occur every two weeks. Save the changes. Once you've selected your transfer option, enter the amount of the transfer. You can create a memo on the transfer for informational purposes by typing a note in the memo box. The memo will be displayed on eBranch transaction history for each of the accounts involved in the transfer. Memos are displayed in eBranch only. They will not be displayed on your monthly statement. Click Transfer Now to complete the transfer. A confirmation window will appear. Review the information and confirm the transfer. In Scheduled Transfers, you can see all transfers that are scheduled to occur and make changes if necessary. From this screen, you can see the account that the funds will be transferred to, the frequency with which the transfer will occur, the amount of the transfer, and the transfer date. To edit a transfer, tap the transfer and then tap the icon to edit transfer. You can change the amount of the transfer, the date of the transfer, and the frequency of the transfer. You can also edit the transfer memo. Transfers can be changed at any point up to the time that the transfer takes place. Transfers occur after the close of business on the scheduled transfer date. To cancel a transfer, tap on the transfer and then tap Remove Transfer. Confirm the changes to complete the process. For more details about eBranch, please refer to our other eBranch tutorials. Have questions? Please contact us at 717 263 
888-777-4444 or toll free at 888-777-9982 during our normal contact hours. Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday from 8 a.m. to noon.